welcome back. We are playing Victoria 3. We are playing as Japan. And uh, a few things to note. Number one, namely, this 500 construction score, those are rookie numbers. We gotta step those numbers up, son. So today, what we are gonna be doing is almost entirely just cranking up our construction a lot. We just got steel frame buildings. We have some war reps coming in from Spain and Portugal. And so, uh, it's time to go burr. So we're going to start off with Kanto, and that is going to uh, be expensive. That is going to be an expensive cookie. We are going to try and build into all of this. We're going to need massive amounts more glass. So I think we have a couple. We switched all the glass manufacturers to be Bone China. We're going to switch some of them back to glass. They're already on glass. All right, we're going to switch one of them back to glass and we are going to massively expand it. Now fortunately, we have more construction, so this will be easy to construct. And then we will be off and away. Now another thing that's happened is we are trying to get the achievement for hegemony, so we gotta do these. In order to form alliances with major powers and make them happy with us, we're gonna need to crank up our military a bit because that'll make them more enticed. So, bureaucratic shortfall, uh, we ain't got time for that. I think we do have yeah, a bunch of admins in the queue, though, so that'll be fine. So that'll be going up to 100. And then we will take this one up to 50. For a total of 150. I don't think we're losing enough money yet, but let's just take a look inside of our market, because what we don't want is we don't want the construction goods to be getting too, too expensive. So we will have to, because then you're just kind of, you're paying out the ass for uh, stuff you maybe don't want. But look, it's already up like 20% now. Uh, we already have it on in Hokkaido. Let's turn on another one that's kind of middling slash small, and we're going to run a deficit. Now, we have been playing the military extra for quite a long time now, and uh, I think it's time for that to stop because uh, it's time to go burr up to 640. Now let's take a look. Is steel expensive yet? Glass is getting up there. We are working on the glass. And we are what we are doing is we are taking a look at the construction goods cost, basically, and seeing are the goods that we're spending using a lot of expensive. And iron should actually be going down in price uh, because we are building a lot. We're switching buildings from iron frame to steel frame. So let's try another. And I really don't care about running a deficit because uh, we'll just build out of the deficit up to 700. This is how you go burr. That's how you go full burr. Okay, now we're gonna take a quick look at our infrastructure. Looks like we're doing okay here. We are paying a lot for construction goods. So let's take a look in the market and see if they are expensive yet. Dynamite and glass are getting up there. So we will wait for the parts of our queue to finish that are working on dynamite and glass. We'll also kick a couple extra to the top of the queue. Now, unfortunately, you can't hold shift uh, does not let you hold shift and alt, so you cannot kick like five to the top of the queue at once. But we are dramatically increasing construction. Now, we're also we recently passed uh, public education, and we're getting rid of child labor, so, you know, good for us. So, in institutions, we will want to, yeah, hell yeah, brother. We're now going to increase our education, and we're going to increase the health care, which is uh, going to cause a bureaucratic shortfall, I'm sure. Or I guess not. Interesting. And what is this number, and why is it green? That's not allowed. We are trying to build... It's really cheap. Now I imagine this kind of takes us over the edge in terms of tolerable 
price increases and the explosives in the glass, which is why we're working on both of those. Why don't we actually... Oh, we got steel in here too, hell yeah. So the... I keep clicking because I forget I have to minimize here. So the coal and the iron were right before steel, so this is all trying to make, for the most part, the construction cheaper, except for the barracks. It's those barracks will finish real fast, though. I think we need more and more chem plants, though. I'll actually put them at the front of the queue. I'm trying to benefit from economies of scale here, which is why I'm building them kind of all in one place. We will build a railway at the front of the queue with Chubu because of that. And Kanto and Kansai, because both of those are going to have a lot of that stuff going on. We're going to look for market access problems. We probably have some. In places like Patagonia are really the ones we want to look. We want to increase the number of convoys, so we're going to go like this. And we're going to put a railway at the end. Mendoza, again. East Borneo. Got rubber. So let's do this. Actually, we might want to. We're gonna go rifling. And now we are going to build one of these and set it on auto expand. Here, land. Gonna increase the ports. Sacklin. So that should help. I think I built a bunch of coal in these places uh, as part of trying to make uh, construction cheaper. We will take a look at construction prices. So glass needs to come down. Explosives has been brought down a little bit. We still have more chem plants on the way. A bunch of glass places. Glass workers are finishing, which is going to cause infrastructure problems in the places we're building them, which is why we're going to... I'm going to add another, another one to here, to the top of the queue, just so there's not too much of an issue. We are going to face bureaucratic shortfalls as well. We will look where we have insufficient taxation capacity, because we do in a couple places. Kansai, Chubu, Tohoku. Two in Kansai, one in Chubu, one in Tohoku. I don't want a trade agreement with them yet. Kyushu and Chukogu. We still have plenty of time before the ticks, so that'll be good. Workers of the world, they need to untie. All right, Eastern New Guinea, or Eastern New Guinea? Discovered Eastern New Guinea, or Eastern New Guinea? Okay, I think I know which one I want. Eastern New Guinea? Okay, just a lot in Eastern New Guinea, I guess. What is this number and why is it cre terrible? Terrible. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Full crank, full go. Rookie numbers, no more. We're about to have 1k construction. That's how we do it, baby. Glass is becoming a little bit of a problem. Let's take a look how much we have in the queue. Quite a bit of glass in the queue. 
fishing wharf, God knows why. So we're going to have to let this crank a little bit before we get to 1k construction. That is the name of the game. Now, you notice, we're going straight up. This is going to the moon. Stonks. I think we are about to surpass biggest GDP, and it's on the back of this. Let's see if we have another interest available, because we have been building up military. Okay, we do. We do want to start getting alliances with these guys, so let's zoom out, let's use the diplomat lens, and see who likes us. Well, Spain really likes us? Why the hell? We just had a fight with them. Prussia looks okay with us. I do think I want to generally trade with Prussia more. And Prussia will be a more valuable enemy or ally against... Ooh, wait. So we can force recognition against Austria, and they'll probably just back down because they are uh, having a bad time. I'm going to save, though, because we actually can't form a front against Austria, so if they don't back down, we're, we'll be in bad shape. So we're going to save. Because this game should have military access. It really should, but it doesn't. So, what are you going to do? Well, you're going to... Radical Austria. And let's see what other... They want to ban slavery in Paraguay? I don't even care about that. But we'll add war reps because I think I have to take their capital as the war goal anyways. They're worried. We'll mobilize everyone. Show him he means that we mean business. We will just be reloading, I think, if he doesn't back down, because we have no way of establishing a front with him. Or do we? Yeah, we won't be able to go through Radical Austria, so... Fearful, you better be. That's right. Fear me, fear, fear for your life. Oh, we're not using our construction. That's the 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 point of construction is to build more. Come on. We are gonna expand the glassworks though, because that was a major expense. Although we're already really expanding it by a lot. And I think we're going to need more rails in a couple places. No, maybe not. Uh, do we have... Succession movements possible. Uh, we will... I know we're, like, short on coffee, so we'll build a little bit in a couple places. And same with tobacco. And I think we built enough infrastructure in Angola to support that. We'll kick it back up to three and see how things go with this. Now we actually can get a front in this region here specifically. Come on, you know you just want to back down. The recognition is painless. All right, we're going to expand it to Kansai. And I do think we will need sulfur mines. Boom Boom Factories. Come on, pure terror. Problem is he's mobilized a lot for his other war, so... 
I suppose we could just let those war tick. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> I don't like this British hero land business, though. They've not got a friend yet. And we are counting down to war. So I'm guessing he backs down, and we become recognized, which I think is a mixed bag. Yeah. So they did recognize us. They unlocked a new PM. They finally recognize us. See, first you get the first you get the construction, and then you get the power, and then you get the recognition. That's what Scarface said. Pretty sure that's a quote. Pretty sure that's a Scarface quote. First you get the construction. Then you get the power. Then you get the recognition. So we now we're great. We're th third power in the world. So we can probably declare some more interest. I would assume. So we're gonna go France, Great Britain, and uh, I don't know whose pie we want to stick our finger in. I guess maybe here. And will people take alliances from us now? Well, I guess we get, gotta wait. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, that seems to be... It seems that the AI doesn't really care too much about fighting the recognition war themselves, but they, uh... We'll never join you in one to help you get recognized. So, we're gonna take a look at prices in the market, and what do you know? Oh, it's glass and explosives are expensive. Tools are a little expensive too, so we'll... We'll work on that. Tools... And explosives... Expensive. I think we're using the latest PM on the explosives. Are we not? We are not using the grind electrolysis. We will crank that in. And then we have very cheap explosives now. So now it's mainly the glass. We do have expensive ceramics, so we'll just kind of expand the glass everywhere, I think. And uh, we'll just put down some railroads with the understanding that we will be needing it. And, uh, hmm. And what is this surplus? This is... I don't... This number is the wrong color. I don't understand. I don't understand why it's the wrong color. Oh, boy. We have fully switched over to steel frame buildings, and, uh... Just waiting for that number to go up a bit. Still a little bit of a rookie number. Hmm. Don't know if that's acceptable. That is the right color, though. Oh, it's not red, it's white. Hmm. I guess we'll abide for now. Uh, we could probably stop making relations worth with some, worse with some of these people. I think Russia's gonna hate us either way. So we want to uh, improve relations with these two who will help us against Russia maybe and then them. And then we're still pretty infamous. Doesn't say so, but I do think we want to take Peru obliv Oblivia. Olivia at some point, and now we can make puppets instead of make vassal. So now we can get maintained subjects. Oh, it has to be exactly five countries. Our vassals turn into puppets, so you have to become recognized to get this one, and now we have to annex somebody. Well, I know who is creating the most annoying border war in our civilization. Look at you, Chile. And I also know... 
I also want to annex Kutai. I think I have a... I do have a, uh, a whatever with them, a truce. That's so dumb, it has to be exactly five. <laughs> like, uh, we got too many subjects. Sorry, boys. Energy's gone up a little bit. Interesting. Oh, I forgot what just finished. I think it was Arms Industries? Yeah, rifling. We just don't have sufficient demand for the arms for those to be good. So I think the thing... But now we can get this. We can get shrapnel artillery. Alright. I think I want to go to Pump Jack so I can discover the oil, though. Well, let's go here. Civilizing mission. And then I think we have... Insufficient taxation capacity still in Kansai, Chubu, Kyushu. And I'm just expanding this because I... Tohoku... Shukoku... Because what I want to do is I want to expand institutions anyways, so... those guys for passing the law. Or no, actually I think I don't want trade unionists. Let's see, what laws do I want left? We can get rid of censorship and get right of assembly. We want compulsory primary school, but we can't get it yet without human rights. We could research human rights straight away, actually. And then... We do want to get rid of censorship. We do want this new tax method. Maybe we go for this, proportional. Make a lot more this way. Industrialists oppose it, but Overall, they're pretty happy with us. Hmm. That seems like a number. It looks like a number. This is not as high as we want, though. We want it. We want it bigger. Hmm. We are draining through our reserves pretty quick, though, at this point. I think we could just build out into this. Porcelain is expensive. I think I added some regular glass to the... Or some porcelain glass in a few places. Yeah, I did. I can add it here and here, though. A little railway trouble there. And then, we currently, I think, have no... T oh, what is this? Oh, baby. We're constructing. We're doing it. We thought we couldn't afford more. Oh, we get there, baby. Yeah. Rookie numbers was what we had. Terrible. Okay, now we are going to want to take a look at what people are uh, paying for. And they're paying a lot for groceries, so let's try and bring groceries and clothes down. Now that we have all this construction, now we can care about the people. Only now can we care about the people. And I'm going to build railways here and here. We're holding something down. 
And I have clothes. And then also, just gonna make sure there's clothes everywhere. Just one clothing thing everywhere. Alright, now what other than clothes and groceries are you consuming for the lower class pops? Glass, okay, glass is expensive. Grain services, glass. So we're gonna make glass even cheaper. Glass grain services. Do a little bit about the grain. I wanna do it overseas generally because, uh, uh, what's that about? So we're gonna do that. We're gonna fix that. We got some problems over here. No, we're good. We Gucci, man. We do have some problems here. Alright, so we will... We're gonna set this to auto-expand. And give a couple more ticks up to it. Because oh, man. my kingdom for more arable land. I think this is on auto expand. We're gonna set it to auto expand because it's the only rural thing you can build there. And same with this one. Now they're not finding much employment anyways, so it's not a big deal. Millet. Huh. But we will expand that millet a little bit. Just a little. Same with this one. Then we'll come back and we will actually expand grain a little bit in terms of our hometown. Gonna look, see who has the most peasants, and we're gonna do it there. Like that. Okay, now I saw some infrastructure needs we're working on them, but we're going to work on them some more, because, I mean, we're just building up a ton in here anyways. And now that's a much more respectable number. Yep, it's been... How long has it been? It's been half an hour, and we have, like, tripled... Well, we've doubled. More than doubled that. Okay. Now we got to ruin relations with one of our subjects so we can annex them, or just grant them independence, but we don't want to do that. We also need to form alliances with two great powers. Um, so I think I wanted to take a look at Austria having some issues. Why can't we form an alliance with you, my guy? We have to be at least cordial. Okay, that seems reasonable. Definitely seems reasonable. Alright, so what else? What are the affluent people hoping for? Because we care about them, too. Porcelain. Transport. I wonder how transport stayed so high. Am I paying subsidies? Not much. Public address goes awry. Well, I don't care if the, the armed forces takes a hit. Sorry, radical to homie. It's been a time, man. Economy is perfectly balanced as all things should be. Burr. Infinite. Just like our construction. Hell yeah, brother. Okay. 
That really should uh, not be how that works. Steel glass tools. I don't think we made much steel recently, so we'll expand the steel. Why don't we put somewhere there isn't any? And tools, I think. Just looking to benefit from economies of scale here. But I think we'll put one tool in like uh, here and here. So if they get cut off, it's not like apocalyptic. We need more tools anyways. What is this number? Why is it that color? There we go. Disgusts me. Austria, Japan interest. Can we take on your debt? No, it's not. Burr. Have we bird passed France yet? We did burr past France. Yep, full burr. All burr, all day. I forgot what the what our economy was at the start, but it was behind France's. That's the power of the of the this. You go full burr. Full burr. I'm just gonna keep repeating myself on that one. Full burr. Okay, I don't think we have a demand for rubber at all. Uh, I don't think we also have, I also don't think we have a means to create a demand. Uh, what's this? Covered markets, which is going to require a ton of glass and steel. And steel. Okay. Well, I mean, porcelain's expensive, so we'll just expand all this. distracted by some stuff. We also need more steel, like a lot more steel. Okay. We already have some in the queue, but... Okay. I think we're, I think we're set, but there's so much construction. If only there was a way to get through all that construction faster. Just like, I don't know. I don't know if there's any way we could get through a construction faster. It's so weird. Strange. Very strange. Hmm. Alright, would you take an alliance? We don't have enough, but would you take it? No, you're close-ish, though. Sounds like a menace to me. In order to get allies, if we have more uh, power projection, that helps us. So we're going to work on that. Let's double check to see if we have any bonuses regionally. 
or anything. One thing I think it's cool is that these like update as you like industrialize or whatever. Could incorporate this place. Could also just not. All right, we're gonna make sure we have a furniture manufactory everywhere as well, which will be a bit overkill, but we don't make that much furniture, actually. I don't know why it's not consumed much in our market. Maybe because clothes are so cheap. Hopefully we're not overbuilding here. But I mean, I wish there was a way to get through all this faster. on earth. Is that what having not a lot of construction is? We can't slow down production. Yeah. No way. Oh wait, we don't need the rubber for throughput anyways. Oh, I don't think we can take the... <laughs> that. <laughs> I think we're uh, not passing this on this one. We'll uh, wait 11 months or whatever it is. We'll try and pass this instead. Why is this number this color? I don't understand. I'm just confused. It's like, uh, it's like it should be a different color. Very strange. I think this just saves labor, right? Make them more profitable. I think this is an indication we need more tools and more energy, though, that we can't switch that over. Because we will want to switch it over eventually. focus on something other than building right now, actually. Kindly burn this letter. Kindly, uh... Mm, that's unfortunate. Echoes of the Revolution. Well, let's see what Radical is gonna get. Guaranteed liberties, we like that. Protected speech, universal. Yeah, okay. We also want him to be more popular. This is the main reason we checked. But this cranks up rights of assembly. Because I'm not sure they supported it before. We do not like this at all. What this is about. I think we can afford higher institutions. The law enforcement one I don't think is all that great. But... Kansai and Kyushu. Can we do... In the meantime, can we survey a skyscraper site? Yeah. be fighting while we're doing this. Sending the expedition. Brr, straight up. Vertical line. Let's take a look at the next basically biggest guy's line. I mean, I'm not trying to compare lines or anything, but I'm just saying that, you know, I'm just saying his isn't as straight as mine, is what I'm saying. You know, he's got rookie numbers. 
we kind of got rookie numbers though. <laughs> We're a little insecure about our line. We uh, we think uh, think maybe our line could be a little bit bigger, you know? Not that it has to be, but you know, it could be. I feel like we're not getting the lens we want. What do we have? Do we have a locked map mode? Okay, this is what we want to do. Much better. I feel much better about all this now. Expedition arrives. Onward. start bankrolling some of these cats too. So he would accept a defensive pact, so maybe we could get an alliance with him. Hmm. An election coming up. Red butter ballot. Seems good. Well... Expenses means less building. I think once our number starts to get green again, we will look to let it and then try and decrease taxes. Or we could build more. You know, or, or, or. We could build more. Could build more. Let's see what's expensive in our market anyways. <sighs> Lead's so expensive. Oh, because we built a ton of glass. Okay. You got me there. Makes sense, you know. Alright, what else was expensive? I have like goldfish memory for this. Sugar and oil. Can't really make the oil cheaper. Can't get the sugar cheaper either. That's really important. So this allows a lot. We want. We're gonna let the uh, rights of assembly tick once though before uh, we're gonna protect our national supply and import it. <sighs> okay, I guess. Also the Austrians. Sure. We could use better ports for more convoys, I think. I mean, we're going to civilizing mission, but we probably want to consider, like, some of this nonsense. Like, industrial port. We don't even have the... the we need ironclads first, though. Right, what else is expensive? Electricity, we're working on fish. We have on auto build, but... Uh, it's good to know, I guess. Uh, I think we want to work on wine. Our millet mines, our farms, are these... They're employed, and uh, but they make figure orchards. I think it's just the wheat farms only that are making wine. Uh, those would be good. We get rights of assembly, which means we have to cancel uh, consumption tax. Oh, it's so sad. She was so young, the consumption tax. Okay. And I know we want to pass, not free trade, uh, proportional taxation, but we can't yet because we have to, the cooldown period's a little bit longer. We could go right into protected speech. Which I think we actually, we want, but we also want guaranteed liberties. So we're gonna go with that. And it tells us we don't have money. Progressive party wins, cool. I'll check that in just a second. I think that was just all the mainland places. But it was Shikoku in there? not. Kansai was the biggest. 
Alright, let's reform. I think probably keeping this is fine. The peasants want to join. We could put the peasants in with them, but it's 100% legitimacy without the peasants, so seems a little. Unless they want guaranteed liberties. Who wants this? Peasants do. I think in general we don't want the peasants in though. Minor progress, hell yeah, brother. So I think we won't take the reform. We'll just enact this a little bit slower. And we'll take a look. Sugar can't do anything about the sugar, unfortunately. Engines. Oh man, I forgot that's the thing that we built. Alright, we're probably going to need it for some of the upcoming PMs too, so I think we want to get it real cheap too. Alright, we can get it in Clebs, or Dutch East Indies Clebs. I think we want it in Clebs. I don't know. Let's come on, man. Now we got a gnat spread of something, but we weren't paying super close attention. Open hearth process. Okay, okay, okay. I see you. I think we uh, don't want to switch it all at once. Switch over a little bit. <laughs> Should bring down our costs a little bit. Well, let's see trade routes as well. That trade route's inactive. Let's see if we can diversify our iron. That won't get big. What are our big markets? Fabric with geez, size 50. sugar, but we can't. I don't know, maybe we just annex Argentina instead. Yeah, I think that seems fine. sugar in Argentina as well. Yeah, we can build more sugar in Argentina. And we will get our maintained subjects, because we need to maintain them, not expand them. We need to have exactly five. You should be worried. This number is the wrong color again. Terrible. Standard living shooting up. Everything going straight burr. Look at that line. It's straight up. I mean, I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to brag. 
or anything, but uh, the line is very erect. I don't know. I think that seems like it might have hidden benefits. I don't know, or it's just being stupid. Uh, looks like uh, Argentina backed out, and now we can get more sugar. Now, of course, the PMs will be all messed up, so we'll have to fix that, but that's okay. Oh, uh, we could build gold mines, herpa derpa. Alright, let's see, infrastructure, how are you doing? Okay. Let's add one there, I don't know why. We'll use it eventually. Maze farms. I want to see the PMs on the maze farms to see if they... Okay, so they can go vineyards. So we're going to need to dramatically shift all the PMs in all these places, but first things first, we want sugar. I swear to god we have eyes. There we go. Okay. Now we will check PMs. So we will set all these to fertilizers and harvesting tools and vineyards. Maze farms will set to... Mm, we'll set them to vineyards. One of the farms, fig orchards, harvesting tools. I don't think we have... Yeah, we don't have publicly traded. We want more meat. Electric fence is good. Mining accident, but it was an accident. I think I'm okay with uh, these guys getting more powerful. Switch these to rail and dynamite. Rail, rail, rail. I'm on Sanarchy. Who would ever want to put in an Anarchy? The rear column. Huh. Don't think I want to gain peril. I think that's how we fail. Maybe I should put in some of these labor-saving PMs. Whoa, did I pass two laws at once? Alright, we got guaranteed liberties though, either way. Chem plants. In the process of slowly shifting that over. I'm gonna switch to this. And this. And we need more iron to do covered markets. Or no more steel and glass. But I think we could start doing it. Just barely start. Okay. Definitely the tech. to have 75 warships. That's a lot of warships. Why can't I expand more in Kanto? Terrible. Turn the taxes back up. <laughs> I'm 
gonna go through the diplomatic lens and see who would accept an alliance. Change star custom team? Anyone? No. We can't propose an alliance. Oh, we need a lot more diplo. Why are we spending all this on? Can we declare a rivalry that's not gonna dick us? I see what the peril level is at. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna declare war on him anytime soon. France would not say yes, but they're kind of close. Prussia's not a yes, they're kind of close. They're not close at all. <laughs> Alright. I think Prussia is probably the one we want, and then they're belligerent, so we can just declare rivalry, I think. I guess we'll start doing a lot of trade with Prussia if we can. Their fruit's really expensive, that's interesting. Oh, but there's not a lot of uh, demand for it. Um, could export them clothes, and we could import from them. I think really that we won. I kinda don't want to export clothes either. Speaking of, what are our pops consuming? Groceries. These groceries are a little. Oh, we, we got sugar now, so groceries are less of a problem to construct. but them pretty cheap. I don't think anyone stops us. Also declare a lot more interest in soon because we expanded the Navy quite a bit. Hate the 
dysentery. Maybe we should have a local military here. It's taking forever to move troops. Maybe that doesn't matter. because I thought it was declared neutrality. So if we expand our military greatly, then we can... Uh, well, I think we want to expand through tech, not through more. Although we have the weird number of battalions. Oh, it's because it's still recruiting. It's going up to 200. Some in the plot as well. Let's uh, let's not have some in the plot. Yeah. Oh, and let's use harvesting tools. Unexpected guess. I hate that. I'm just gonna get into progress. I see, I wish I... Oh, it has medium peril. We'll just continue along. Well, I mean... This guy wants to feel the power. Hmm. My game seems to be bugged. number is not the right color. Oh well. We'll leave it there for a while, I guess. Might go malaria prevention next. We have a lot of threes left, though. I kind of don't want to yet. We could go mutual funds. Would be decent. I think, uh... Steam Donkey and a Pump Jacks would also be... Decent for de helping discover oil. Whoa. We gotta build some stuff. In fact, let's take a moment to go into rural and make sure everything's on auto expand for stuff that we want auto expanding. Okay, so we have all that. Now. I think that we could not build logging camps for a hot minute. So let's do this. Let's unpause. Yeah. I'm just gonna make sure I have level one of everything everywhere that can have it. And then check the auto expand again. Definitely don't want that. Oh, no, wait. I did want it auto expanding where I had set it. Man. Because that was the only thing that could be built there. I out big brained myself. I small brained myself. Terrible. I don't think they're winning that. Okay. After all this. Probably gonna need more infrastructure just all throughout here. So I'm just gonna build one. And then look to build textile mills and all of these. So they all have level one. Or 
actually, let's do this. Oh, that's level two. That's not a big deal. Same with tooling workshops. And furniture. Just in case they get isolated. Because there's a decent chance that that happens. And then groceries. Uh, build one in Chicago in here, I guess. Trading Enclave. Well, I think there's a peril. Now I'm back at low peril. Okay, and then, of course, we'll need a bit of cotton. This is actually like the only overseas place that I can make cotton, so I'm actually just gonna max it out and uh, clear it from where I can build stuff. check to see what the colonialization <sighs> we'll just push it I don't want to get cut off we will up our colonial affairs investment and then we will look to uh, pause the game okay let's I think we will leave off here. Um, we started with like 480 construction, which was rookie numbers, and so we pumped that up and brought it up to 1100. And at the same time, we also like uh, nearly doubled our economy. We're now the largest economy in the world. For some reason, we're not ranked number one. Probably a bug of some kind. We clearly have the straightest line GDP. Ignore that it's a little hooked at the end. You know, it's not. It's not about the shape. It's about the size. Um, but, uh, so yeah, we also, <laughs> we also took this little bit of Argentina because in order to do the thing, you know, you need to have exactly five, uh, allies, and then we're looking to try and, uh, push along, um, to get this achievement. Now, I've done it in my Egypt run where I got all of this, or maybe it was Ottomans, I think it was Egypt, and then it said waiting for more, and then I waited for more for like 30 years, and so I thought it was bugged, and so that's kind of what this run's about. Ooh, radicals going down. And so, moving forward next episode, gonna still kind of try and focus on the alliances. Actually, just gonna take a quick look if we can get an alliance with great power. I'm guessing the action is, n the answer is no, but this is kind of what we're vying for right now, is oh, just alliances with great power is kind of the only thing we care about. Um, Great Britain's probably going to be one of the better ones. And might just have to join their wars and then try and pick up alliances with them. I'm going to have to try and find two guys who aren't rivals to each other or something like this. We are rivaling Russia, so as a general heuristic, uh, these or these two will make better uh, allies. I think US is great power. Yeah, they are. So, something like this actually like us quite a bit. They wanted to trade agreement from us earlier, maybe we should have done it. We're gonna improve relations with them. Anyways, if you like this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do all the other stuff, make sure to go burr, and uh, have a good day.